Back here on Debrief to take you now inside the fight for Iraq's second city, Mosul. The same city where ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi declared his so-called caliphate back in 2014. The fight for West Mosul for the old city has a host of additional challenges. Urban warfare through narrow streets and alleyways where ISIS uses civilians who didn't manage to escape as shields. But like any conflict, reading about it is nothing like witnessing it with your own eyes. Our senior Middle East correspondent Mohammed al Qasim is back from the front line to share with us what he saw. Leaving Erbil, the capital of Iraq's northern Kurdish region, en route to Mosul. It's less than 100 kilometers away, but the trip took close to three hours along a bumpy road lined by refugee camps. It's not easy getting in or out of Mosul. Kurdish and Iraqi checkpoints dot the roads leading to the city. Supposedly, these checkpoints are there to stop the so-called Islamic State organization fighters from carrying out attacks. But they serve another purpose. They keep each religious or ethnic group out of the territory of the other side. ISIS, or Daesh as it's known in the Arab world, was driven out from this area, but made sure it left destruction in its wake, like this bridge here. ISIS fighters bombed it before they retreated. The Kurds are rebuilding it now. We spent our first day on the front lines of the battle for Mosul with the Iraqi Federal Police. We are embedded with the Iraqi Federal Police Unit. It's a elite unit that's trying to sweep through slowly, steadily, progressing into the last few blocks of Western Mosul, where ISIS is putting up a fierce battle right now. They tell us that the majority of the ISIS fighters that are left in Western Mosul and the few neighborhoods that are still uh, they're still fighting there made up of foreign fighters. It's a fierce battle. It's been taking place since uh, operation. Uh, another operation was launched yesterday morning. This was once a residential street, but now destruction is everywhere in Mosul. The once bustling city has been bombed into the Stone Age, literally. One of the fiercest battles took place here between the Iraqi forces and ISIS fighters. This is a Shifa neighborhood where almost every building has been either hit by a bullet or by mortars. We get ready for the front line as much as we can. The Iraqi army's push to recapture Western Mosul is ongoing. Fresh, fierce clashes occur daily. They tell us that in just the last few days, two neighborhoods still under ISIS control have come under attack. We are in Mosul, close to the General Republic Hospital, and within the next few days we will liberate it. Only few areas left. It's urban warfare. Holes are made in the walls between houses to avoid snipers who target everything that moves and everything that doesn't. People used to live here. Iraqi forces now uses these homes as makeshift rest areas. We are right at the front lines here in western Mosul. We can hear the bullets, we can hear the mortars going almost every minute. This is one of the homes that has been overtaken by the Iraqi forces here in western Mosul, where they take shifts in resting before they go back into the front lines. Lieutenant Abd Zahra, in charge of this federal police unit, shows us footage of what he says are dead ISIS fighters and Iraqi civilians he says his unit freed. As one of the Iraqi soldiers was showing us his wounds, a bomb landed close to us. It was an airstrike. ISIS fighters are currently entrenching themselves in booby-trapped alleyways of a Shifa neighborhood. They're sniping at Iraqi forces as well as civilians who try to flee. Less than a thousand ISIS fighters are still inside Mosul's old city. They're dead litter the streets, testament to how ferocious the fighting is. There are still thousands of civilians trapped in their homes and being used as human shields by ISIS. It's a major reason for the slow movement by Iraqi forces. News comes of an ISIS sniper in a nearby building. An Iraqi federal police unit prepares to neutralize him. As we went house to house through the holes in the walls, we were enveloped by the smell of death. It's everywhere, right on the edge of the city, just a few hundred meters from the fighting. These Iraqi civilians made it to safety, exhausted, thirsty and hungry, but happy. They made it out alive. I feel tired and very, very happy. At the same time, I am very sad because my neighbors didn't survive.
Iraqi army handing them a box of food and water. We take to this place from the front lines to the back lines, or to the left side of Mosul. Today we moved around seven cars. Each had nine families. The battle for Mosul is entering its final, perhaps most difficult stage. Iraqi government officials say their forces now control more than 90% of the city with the worst fighting concentrating in Ashifa district. But with more than 100,000 civilians still trapped inside the old city, no one knows for sure when the battle will finally end. Mohammed Al-Qasim, I-24 News, Mosul, Iraq.